The night of October 1st in Las Vegas, there were tens of thousands of people crammed within a one or two block radius of the supposed shooting. Let's just say there were 30,000 people as a very conservative guess. If just 90% of them had cameras on them, and you know in this day and age of technology they did, that's 27,000 people with phones, ready to take that next selfie or grab a quick pic of the food they're about to eat so they can share it with their friends on Instagram. Now in the panic and melee of the crowd frenzy, let's just say that only 10% of those had maintained the presence of mind to record the event. That's 2,700 different people from 2,700 different locations recording the sights and sounds of what happened in Vegas on October 1st. In my research on this event, I've seen a lot of video footage and I bet you have too, but I haven't seen 70 different recordings that night let alone 2,700 recordings. My bet is that as time goes on, we'll see more and more people uploading the content of their phones to the internet. Every piece of information we get is just one more piece of the puzzle. And that brings me to a video that was just uploaded to YouTube by Benjamin Franks. His video is taken from the perspective of the MGM Grand Hotel across the street from Hooters. Benjamin is facing south with the concert event area in Mandalay Bay to his southwest. According to the video at the 27 second mark, Benjamin says they're pulling bodies out of Hooters. They're just pulling so many bodies out of that Hooters. I don't know if people are dead. I don't know if they're just injured. At first, there were six ambulances that could be seen parked in front of Hooters. By the time you get to the five minute mark, you can count 16 ambulances parked in a line with more speeding by. Now I've compressed some of the time of this video here to give you a partial time lapse of the activity below. This is the MGM Grand from around their perspective. Here's Hooters and way over here is the event area with Mandalay Bay even further to the southwest. Now I understand that police had certain areas blocked off, but why in the hell were they parked in front of Hooters this far away and why were bodies being taken from inside Hooters? Why do we not see people flooding this parking lot right here, traveling north from the venue, or emergency personnel running south up this parking lot to the concert grounds to take care of these?